Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. We strongly recommend to stay on a sim as long as needed until you get the proper education before you start learning, before you start trading life. It's very important to get to know what's going on in the market before you do anything life. Uh, we're going to cover a couple of three auto trades and uh, we're going to start with the uh, left upper corner. This is the market analyzer. This is the last trade for today. It's 342 Friday, 2nd of July. And this is the last trade for today. We are done. This is the last entry, not the whole day. This is 55 ticks on the last entry. And now there is a new signal start coming up from the 15 second. There is a uh, there is a, the one minute for a swing trading uh, on the left upper corner, and uh, there is also the scalping is on the right upper corner. As an example here, the scalper on the Nasdaq is right there. This is a base on one contract, ninety takes. Uh, 450 and this is a one contract 450 is the same number you can use one contract two contract whatever how many contracts you want the target extends itself if there is a market trending the market moves by itself to the next level and the trading stops are based on a fib line you don't have to sit down and deal with the uh, trading stop and stop loss uh, this is a, on the signal there is five different automated to trade two on the pullback re-entry and a three is one is a ATM ATM strategy and fully automated so there is five auto trade on that system here uh, whether you want to do, do scalping or a swing trading let's jump to another uh, type of um, uh, automated trade you know, we just covered that today on uh, on the other channel uh, today when we were on a live channel. Uh, that on a Friday, uh, usually the market uh, goes one direction in the afternoon. It's not every Friday, but most of the Fridays, the market goes one direction. Uh, today, on, uh, when we were live on the other channel, we started uh, really good, and then the market started dying out on us. And this is the result when you start taking the trades in the afternoon on a Friday. You can see the market goes in one direction, and this is where most of the traders, uh, they... Uh, they start enjoying around 1.30, 1 o'clock. You have to look at the market. I mean, I cannot say next Friday is going to be 1 o'clock or 12.30 or 1.30. But uh, this is where a lot of old traders' secrets on a Friday. Uh, you either trade early or uh, you uh, trade late. And uh, when those amateur traders come in at 9.30 on a Friday, they sit down a couple hours. Some of them, they walk away with a little money because this is where the most noises there on Friday, the first two hours, just noises. And um, most of the time, noises. There is nothing going on. You know, a couple bars up and down, not unless if there is some kind of news. Uh, but um, as we see here now, we we are about to close all the positions, and we're gonna close position here. And here is the result on the ES. And you have the three minutes. Today the three minutes didn't do well. Uh, we had uh, a couple losing trades on this one, and. Um, uh, this is the gold. We're going to close position. The gold all week has been doing extremely well on the 370 ticks. Very consistent. Um, 
very consistent. That's all what I can say. I don't want to talk about PNLs because actually this is the lowest PNL in in the whole week on the tick chart, and um, the rest of the days they were almost double the amount. And if you go back to the videos, uh, you will see the performance on it. And then uh, he has five minutes. We're gonna close it. Close position. We are done with it. You see, on the three minutes and the five minutes today, we were have we were having a struggling areas. You can see it was a, it started really good, and then we had those two losing trade, and it took time to make up for that. And then uh, we have a CL, also the CL did very well today. All of them did extremely well. And this is uh, 2560, we're gonna close position. And that is a beautiful trade. It's been on the same trade from 10 o'clock to now. This is a really brilliant. And then we have the NASDAQ you know, we're gonna close it. I'm not gonna go through all of them, but uh, we can show you some of them. Uh, this is, I wanna show this is what's my favorite today. The 25 second ES and it was it nailed every single one of them and then after we hit the target the auto trade stopped we were done by 12 o'clock and this one i mean there is some other trades like what we have showed on the range made 4800 but i don't look at the pnl as much as i look at how the auto trade entered the market it is more important for me than it's just a pnl uh, see how are uh, we gonna close it you know welcome to trading you know you cannot have them all and we're gonna close it we didn't make it on the CL 12 range and we didn't make it on the 13 range either today um, this is a, some other it's the same and uh, we have the DAX also needs to be closed as soon as possible done and then uh, um, this also on the 10 second es which we show the 10 second we run the 10 second es every single day on the other channel it's the same time frame the same auto trade we use and it's always uh, consistent of course you will have a bad days but i like the 10 second because when the market was down i mean was not moving uh the uh, the auto trade and uh, nailed because on 10 second uh, auto trades usually cannot make it on the precision auto trade it is amazing it's, a, it's one of our latest technology on uh, this auto trade we are using the latest of the latest algorithm in there why am um, five minutes 2100 NASDAQ 39 second 1280 10 range the CL this is a scalping mood on the precision 1000 NASDAQ 3 minutes 2100 YM that was a beautiful trade uh, NASDAQ 3 minutes and then uh, the DAX it was in the other room and the CL one minute uh, did very well. Uh, let's cover also the TI7 uh, for um, uh, Ninja Trader 8. On the TI7, uh, this is uh, um, this chart is not gonna make it on the YM. 115 ticks is not gonna make it today. There is six hundred dollars and there is a hundred dollar and a hundred sixty dollars for today. That's it, you know. Close position. 
It is 660, did not even get to the 1000. That's fine, you know. That's what happened. Um, and then uh, here's an ES, one minute. That's a statement on the one minute because most of the auto trades fell on one minute. And this is an easy going chart. And uh, what is nice about it is not the PNL, no. What is nice about it here, this is where most of the amateur trade and they don't understand and they don't want to understand. If you look at this area here, if you are trading an ATR auto trade or a MACD, you would have lose a lot of money in here. And this is what is the problem because they think it's an auto trade itself. It's not. This is just the way the market condition. And if the trader don't spot it, that's a problem. And his auto trade don't spot it, that's a double problem. So if you have an amateur trader with an amateur auto trade, this is a double blind people trading ES. And if we look at the ES base on one minute, it's only straight line from, from around 8.30 all the way to 1.30. And we had our share in, in, the, in the market when the market was sideways. But then if we look at this trade and examine it beside those uh, and this is the problem in Renko bar you cannot see it because they are fell they are they are false you know they are false movement but here on the one minute you can see how the EIS was not moving and it's not the PNL again it's not the PNL today you make 1000 tomorrow you make a banana it's, it's not that it's just how the auto trade survive here that's what is matter Today you make a thousand dollars. Tomorrow you make a ten dollars. The day after you lose ten dollars, you lose one hundred dollars. It's part of the trading. That's irrelevant. But what is most important in auto trading? That chart here is very loud and clear. The ES was not moving, was not making money. And when here's the million dollar question. When the market started breaking out those level, the auto trade predicted and nailed it. From 9.49 to 11.30, the auto trade did not take any trade. That is good. That is not bad. That is very good. And when the market started going above the high, high level here, the auto trade nailed it on the pullback, not on the breakout, on the pullback. This is different when you are using ATR above or below, because if your ATR auto trade is leveling up here, your auto trade on an ATR, because what it is, is it just a dummy auto trade, has no algorithm, it's just a moving average. When it go below, it's going to take short. When it goes above, it's going to go long, then below, then above, below, above. And that can generate a lot of stupid trades, losing trades. When the market start taking a breakout immediately on the pullback, the auto trade took it. And then what happened, the market turned around. That's how you need to look at the auto trade, not stupid PNL. PNL is nothing. In the trading because you can use a Renko bar today and and make 10,000 but it's not gonna make 10,000 every day you're gonna start losing so this is what is secrets about auto trading is reading the market and uh, you don't read the market uh, and you are using Renko bar you're not gonna be less for very long and you're going to keep changing, optimizing the rest of your life, buying on new auto trade the rest of your life. If you don't have someone backing it up, this auto trade, and try to teach you how to look at the market when you are auto trading and before you activate your auto trade, you're going to be sure in a blind the rest of your life. You know, you're not going to make it. Simple as that. Try.
challenge me. Uh, and then NASDAQ 12 range, this is a beautiful, acceptable trade, 1850. The, this clumsy trade here put us behind. It was beautiful, going the right direction. Then we got hit with one lousy trade. And then it took a longer time to close that trade. That's life, 1100. I'm not going to go through all of it. This is uh, 1650. Actually, this is my favorite also. Look at this one minute. And this is the two minutes. Got hit with one bad trade. Two minutes. The gold. Beautiful. Nice and easy. By 10.30 we were done. And uh, NASDAQ, you know, it's amazing. Um, you know, every instrument is different animal, uh, like uh, the CL, for some reason, on a six, seven, eight range, the CL is wonderful. The NASDAQ on a 520 takes. It's very consistent. And if we look at those trades, I mean, you, you know, you have a small trades when the market was not moving and a small losses. We don't have a big stop loss on it. But then when the market snapped and spiked, we were right on it. And then it's done the rest of the day. Uh, by 12 o'clock, we were done with it. That's beauty. So the, the, the things is we should not be trading all day long because there is no auto trade going to survive all day long. This is a myth. You cannot sit on a gambling table, trade 24-7. If you want to trade 24-7, you need to use different template for different time. Like a Globex, you have to use a different entry. On the TI-7, there is a 10 different entries and filters for a purpose, not to just collect an entries and signal. Because every, every instrument requires a different entry and a different filter. Also depends on what time you want to drive that auto trade. Let's say if you want to trade the ES Globex, you use a different entry on the TI-7, especially made for Globex. You cannot just take an ATR entry auto trade and bang on all the instruments day and night because those are different animals the ES is different than the Nasdaq and Nasdaq is different than the gold the Nasdaq on 520 the CL on ranges I mean there are there are each instruments uh, spike on a different numbers different entries and and uh, not just auto trading is Every instrument you have to treat it. It's like when you have three different children and every every kid is different and you have to approach every kid differently. And the same thing here in the trading. It's not just taking an auto trade and bang on all the market. This is not true. You know, we are in 2021. We're not in the 80s anymore or early 90s where... Uh, I mean, we are on a different time. You know, we have we are on a different algorithm. Everybody is start getting smart with algorithm. You cannot come in with with something, twenty years old, and put it to work when somebody have an auto trade is doing a lot of thinking and a lot of math. And and uh, you gonna come with a, a normal moving average, and you wanna smoke that guy, you know. So. Uh, in those days, it's not the challenge to make an auto trade. In those days, how we can survive in a flat market, how we can survive when the market is trending, how we can survive in a globex when hardly the market moving, you know. And then you have to pick the timing between, let's say, nine o'clock to eleven o'clock. You should be done. If this market is not giving us money from nine to eleven. Maybe we need to stop so we will not lose a lot of money rest of the day if it's going to be choppy day. 
if you we cannot read the market that's very fine but when we can see the the auto trade is struggling we need to push the button and close everything and live till tomorrow for another good day but we should not sit down and poke in the market on, on, on a very struggling day like yesterday it was an easier to trade on an auto trades than today because if you go back to the our live channel today on the other channel you can see they were okay and then the market got mixed and then the market to start going in sequence and then once the market start lining up all the auto trades that were start you know printing money so and when the when the market was not working the auto trades that were not doing good and uh, we had a uh, we had some uh, a couple of chart lost money and you can see it on the other channel you know we leave the winning and the losing we don't hide the losing trades and you can see it at the end of the channel uh on uh, at around 11 to 12 o'clock we had a couple of chart got hit badly and you have to see that because it's not only green so folks that's all what we have uh for today you know before i uh, log out i want to show you something this is uh the scalper it's a total different i mean we have around 10 auto trades in the package this the scalper is especially made for globex and it does not take if we if we take an es three minutes this is a small trace on the scalper and it can take it as you notice a trade with trend and reverse in the same time it is in your package is independent does not require any optimization you just turn it on you can optimize the, the the time frame if you want to but nothing you can optimize in there but this one here is a good idea for overnight you see there is a different timing between each trade and this one here is a sneaky little one when the sea doors open he go and take a trades and leave and here they all started at nine o'clock today this one here too started at nine all of them started at nine and look at this beauty it's not the pnl is the beauty we started around nine o'clock broke even ah made money find an open door turn back in stay away from the sideway as from uh, it didn't take a trade and then when the market come in on the fib line nailed the trade and this is exactly took that trade on the support area beautiful uh, folks that's all what we have thank you very much god bless you all wish you a very nice weekend bye for now